Okay. Hey guys, um, welcome to the final tutorial for Star Trek Online. And here we have the 23rd century Starfleet. So we are in the 23rd century, that's the time of the original series. If you couldn't tell by the uniforms of the gentle gentleman and lady in the background, as well as the Centurion class ship behind our captain here and the information box. Um, so we have Aiden James Bowen, um, Bowen rather, and he is our captain for this one, and his ship is the USS Windsor. Now, basically, grow up, join Starfleet when he came of valid age, and we're going to jump straight in to the story they will give us on this. Of course, no loading background because we're in the 23rd century. Captain's log, stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders? Investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key to talk with them. Yes, we know that already. Um, just because I haven't said it yet, I sort of forgot to. I'm going to get rid of that from now on as well. Is that we are an engineer. So, let's go over, talk to Captain Gary. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. I need to get boots on the ground, find out what's going on. Take a landing party down to the surface. Assess the situation and look for survivors. We'll beam down right away, sir. Not so fast. We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. You'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Sounds good to me, sir. We're using the wrong turbo lift. That's because, no, we're not. We just forgot to scan Taurus 2 first. Let's report. Did you find a suitable landing area? Yes, sir. There's a good sized clearing close to the crash site. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Aye, sir. On my way. Now, Initially, when I was making um, Ensign, or well, no, Lieutenant Junior Grade, um, which is, um, yes, when I was making um, Aiden, I was originally thinking of being a Vulcan, realising that uh, Vulcan wouldn't necessarily be what I would pick. Um, Vulcan and more specifically, Romulans are my, one of my favourite species. But, I wanted to have a human this time, so, hence Aiden. Um, we are an engineer, so... Ensign Tarsi, reporting for duty. The captain's asked me to make sure you get back in one piece, and I intend to do just that. Thanks, Tarsi. What do you know about Taurus too? Let's see. M-class planet? Barely. The Taurians are big primitive and quick to anger. I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you. Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Right, need the buy Anson. Uh, just thinking, I've, I haven't seen many episodes of the, I think I've seen all the episodes really, um, but only once through. I think I've missed a couple of episodes as well. 
Um, I'm not. Star Trek fans are gonna hate me for this. I'm not the biggest fan of the original series. It's my least favorite series out of all of them, which I know will get me in hate books. Um, but if I remember correctly, in that episode they kidnap someone. The big sort of like cavemen. Victorians. Good shooting, Lieutenant. That should be enough. Unless you want more practice. Nope. 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 Damn. Those rifle looks look peculiar as well. The pistol's not so much. Right, so let's go to the shop bay. Um, yes, um I was also debating having a female as well because I cling on Myers, Mears, Mears, yes, Mears. Um, Ensign Mears reporting as ordered. I'm ready when you are, though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. Oh, where's that Ensign? I was one of the so called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. I do. But you're the only one on board with local experience. Your insight may be invaluable. I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. I never doubted it for a second. Go to the F class shuttle. I'm not a hundred percent sure what class vessel we're currently serving under. Cornisus, I think that says. Um It's just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Stay alert. They very well may... They right. very well could okay. be. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Sounds good. See you there. Oh, 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 oh. Mental discipline. Mm. Is that a warp nacelle? Wow. Big. Yes, and Dora Tarsi. Why seem so surprised? I was questioning why the hell don't we have rifles for an away mission, remembering this is now the 23rd century, and in the original series they never took rifles on away missions. Unless they knew it was a war situation, in which even then I don't believe they took rifles. Uh, my original serious knowledge is very lacking. I'm very much a 24th century or 25th century individual. Not like an individual. Mm, Dr. Miller. Where? Scan the debris. Scan the debris where? Um. Ok. 
could possibly have meant there could actually mean in a ship as well so I'm just gonna go looking no um a little confused but there we go um doesn't seem to have anything in here let's have another look so there's nothing that way if we go back along this way it says scan debris and there's plenty of debris around so if which makes me feel like we may have missed something Is it referring to this? Because the doctor's injured. No. Oh, I stuck one. Okay. Um. Hmm. Here we go. I walked straight past it. Definitely Federation tech here. What's left of a shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. Might be a crashed shuttle nearby. Let's have a look. Of course, we've literally just been to it. I'd realised it then. It would have saved. There's your crashed shuttle. What's left of it anyway? Look. Someone's over there. I think they're hurt. Let's give him a hand. Ah, so it's coming down for maintenance in ten minutes. Oh, Jesus. No, looks like can we're I have gonna. A word, yes, you can have a word, Tom. Tarsi. Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents, though. Agreed. It shut off the plasma vent alpha. Shut off plasma vent beta. Let's help the injured survivor. Who's female, not male. Thank you. We, it's we, me we what? need to move. I'm confused. There's things. They're out there. What things? Where? Flores, look out! Hmm. The primitive cavemen, the, the Torans. What do they feed these things? Never mind. I'm Dr. Phineas Grogan, part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared, got distracted, and, and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. You're lucky to be alive, Doctor. You're telling me. 
We should get those supplies back to camp. Dr. Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. Agreed. I'll get them. Lead the way. Yes, so, um, it may actually be what's a bit laggy. It may have something to do with the reason why they're closing the servers down. Oh, Dr. Muller. Um, <sighs> am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those. Those monsters! We'll have you out here soon, sir. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Just put them over there for now. You know, I think there's some old phaser rifles in there. Might come in handy against those creatures. Thanks. We'll have a look. There are some rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. A, a phaser? I've never shot one of these before. Wait, you want me to shoot this? Yes, let's talk to Tarsi. The targets are ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting. And give them some pointers. Works for me. Jesus, that was off. I get it. That gives me a lot more control. Mm. Wow, thanks. That feels a lot better. Yes, and switch to the rifle. Do you have to stand over here? Or just that. they're Isn't right behind me oh my god <sighs> I'm sorry I don't believe she's ready yet for leadership heads up the Torians are attacking Mares, get your ass here right now. We need to get these people to safety, Lieutenant. The Torians will be back, and in greater numbers. Agreed. You and Tati guard the pass while I get the others into cover. Retreat to the ship. Go, go, go. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. I hope it's a good one. Shut the doors! They're right behind us! Okay, so now we're... Okay. Last time I was here, Scotty, uh... Commander Scott, electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? Maybe. There's enough charge left in the batteries to do so. Um, right, so let's have a try the oh. Get job, engineer. Oh. 
You did it! Lieutenant, it worked! Bless you, Scotty, wherever you are. I think we owe you a very nice bottle of scotch. Indeed. So, what happened out there? The Torians ambushed us. I managed to escape, but the others, they've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast! Get the survivors to the shuttle. Tussie and I will recover the hostages. I was thinking we can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Like thermal programs, eh? Good thinking. But, before we go hunting, that will be all for this episode. And so, because the servers are going down in any minute now, really, um, I will see you guys in the next part. I won't be following straight onwards, but I'll see you guys in the next episode where we see how strong Torians really are and to rescue our friends and see how life in the 23rd century differs from the 25th but see you guys later there you go one minute warning but bye guys